And that's it. He's off. <laughs> He's gone. Oh well. Sodom. Solo camp. Back out. Into the motor again. September the 7th, I think. And it's like summer's day. Unbelievable. We're in Scotland. Scottish Scotland. Easy, eh? Where is he? Him. And we're at a place on the east coast. Castles. Rocks. Traffic. There's a lot of traffic here, like. Down old slip road. We've had to walk along here, like we've parked right at the top. And we're gonna see what we'll come across. Food, I'm afraid. Oh, you're back. I'm back. Didn't kidnap you. Nah. Nice lad. I was worried for you. Never trusted Ginger like, but he was Irish. <laughs> so that is the Bass Rock lighthouse on it. Ten zillion birds. With actually birds on it. Covered in gannets. Well, there's some evidence of being birds, I think. Surf's up, there's loads of people here, man. That's the only up, thing. Dude? There's loads of people here. This is the guy that kidnapped Mark two minutes ago. <laughs> Look at him. But I've got him back. I'm back. Boosh. And available to do the horns. Are you enjoying it? It's mint. Weather's unbelievable. It's like bloody summer again. I thought it was always minus six in Scotland, <laughs> even in the summer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, with ice. Oh, I was expecting ice. <laughs> like Greenland. Anyway, we're going to uh, just mooch around until we can find somewhere to pitch. We're thinking here. And if the tide comes in, it'll cut that bit off around the back. And then the tide will go out in the morning we can come off in the morning. It's quarter to seven, the tide. No, quarter to ten. Low tide tomorrow, quarter to ten. So we'll be all right. We'll be off by then. And we'll see. So this is... Uh... The lighthouse on the Bass Rock. Bass Rock, however you want to say it. Just gonna, if we just zoom out a bit, yeah. you get a picture of it. It's, it's not actually as big as I thought it was going to be. But it's still. Oh, uh, yeah, it's still kind of good though. I mean, this is the view we've got from where we're planning to camp. You cannot really get annoyed at that, can you? <laughs> This is on the other side. Oh yeah. The back of the castle's better than the front. Look at that. Mint. Mint. It's in shadow like, but even so. The sun's just in the wrong spot, isn't it? If the sun goes down to the back of there, we'll be... The sun definitely goes down, right? Oh, it'll be amazing there, though. That's what... So we're going to pitch down here when everybody's gone. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? Just close it off. Um, we're up on that. So hopefully the tide comes in here, cuts this rock off. There's people on bikes on the rocks, man. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pedal on the rocks, I'm afraid. No matter how good you are. <laughs> and that's the other side. <laughs> so I'm sure there'll be some. Uh, Craft beers sat on that rock tonight, getting photographed. Aye, right. mint this like mint. Now well, he is there. He's got tops and bivvies, so we'll very head well hidden. This is the best view ever. This like you see it from the A1 for miles. Never actually seen it up close. It's the Kingdom of Fife behind it. More along that. It's the Firth of Fourth, this water. The Firth of Fourth. 
Yep, having it. So this is the backdrop. What we're going to do is wait till everybody's gone and then pitch here. Just get the tarp up here. It's nice, it's nice and flat, that bit. You could probably get a couple of tents here, but what you're banging the pegs into is we think solid rock. So pegs might not actually go in there. Um, this is a devastation we've got. A couple of supermarket beers. These ones, Northern Monk, Mango, Lassie Heathen, Buried in Hops, New Wylam, Dance, Dares Cocoa. That's weird, that's an IPA, but it's got the slightest hint of coconut. Coconut IPA. I've already had one of them, it was nice. And he's got a few of these. He's got the same, same Wylam. Lupulus, what's that? Buxton Brewery. Hazy Jane, that's a nice one, I think that's Brewdog's best. Big Milk Stout, and another vocation, love and hate, these are lovely. Best supermarket beer you can get them. That? That vocation. Well, they brought out all them other new beers. You know, and that's still the best one. And he brings a glass, man. Mate, this is the life. So I, uh, we're just chilling out, waiting for the... Waiting for the people to vanish in the bar to open. It's, cold, it? it's gonna be chilly, but you know, we'll have a tarp here, covering with. Stick that up in a bit, actually. Alright. Even though we can get the pegs in. Should I get a peg out? Are you enjoying it? Should I get a peg out? No, there's no need for it, like. <laughs> yeah, it's bent. Bent. Glad, glad I made you come. Yeah, I'm glad you forced me. Drag me, baby drive. I know all the best spots. I know all the best places, me. He's keen. The castle over there. Hopefully, the sun's going to go down behind that. It's quite spectacular. Uh, we've had a bit of a situation with the tarp. Somebody brought the wrong size tarp. Aye. And he brought the. They had no guy lanes, guy points. So we've had to make. Do we've done well though? We've done bloody well. Call I mean, us bear look, at, grills. look at him sitting there. Call us bear grills. We've got a right little setup here. And there's the the tarp. We basically only want it. Keep our heads covered because we've got the babies. So we're going to get in there. So it's adapted this top. And we've used. Adap adapted, yeah, that's the word. We we'll have. Adapted. We basically used shoelaces because we had no guy lanes. A few pegs, peg points, we've tucked it in a bit. Looks alright. That's all we need is a shelter. Solid enough. That's all we wanted because we only had one. What was it? 1 by 8? 1 1.8 8 by 2 or something? It's 1.852 meters or something, the old one. Alright, so it's only a small top that we had. You just brought the 3x3. Three three. The other one that we had last camp has got all the bloody guy lines on it for guying it out. But yeah, we've managed. We'll be alright. And look at that backdrop. Look at him sitting there with that to look at. That's the view. We're hoping that the sun comes up. Over here somewhere, I'm not quite sure, I'll have to work it out. It could be over there, like. I don't know how far, I don't know how the lay of this land is. Anyway, we're hoping the sun is going to go down there, which it should do. And light that castle up. But everybody's just about gone now. All the people, there was a lot of people on the beach. They all seemed to vanish. We're going to go down and have a look at the harbour shortly. The history of the harbour is amazing. Tiny little thing. The smallest harbour in the world, and it's just over the back of here. And this guy fishing, though, I think he's there. Uh, I don't think he's going to catch much there. Uh, you might get the sea bass in the surf, or the odd cod. I don't know if the cod will be this close in. He certainly hasn't caught anything.
But, crack on. Ooh, there's a big wave coming in. Look at that. Watch this. It's out. Yeah, the rocks are stopping the surf. Yeah, we see the gannets. Millions of them. Turn it around, just see some gannets and all. Flying around. The bass rock. Is there all buildings and everything? Like, like all broken down buildings like that. I can see like an old house. It's really far away. That's why it's a bit hazy this. But look at all them gannets swirling around there. And that's it. According to Mr. Chebzut, that was our prison. Yeah. It was a prison, ah. Yeah. I think I'd like to get sent there. You take a fishing rod. Well, it's going to be difficult to escape that, isn't it? You wouldn't make a few years. Like Alcatraz? Aye. Uh, Devil's Rock. But look at that. That's a good shot. That's our view from where we're, where we're pitched. It's mint. It's mint. So we're just waiting for the sun going down. Hopefully get a nice sunset behind it. Or at least it should turn the sky red. We've also got the castle over there. A the castle on the hill. Cheering. I'm sure he could make a song out of that. <laughs> Here I am filming a whistle going out of the Firth of Forth. It's, it's got a lifeboat on the back. Is it? It's not a maybe an oiler or a some kind of support vessel for the rigs. Sure. Well, might be like a supply vessel or something. Uh, like that. It's, it's setting off to sea. Either way, to the further forth, past the bass rock. Oh, we're just waiting for the sunset to come on. We need a really nice sunset here. Behind that castle. We've had such a ruined summer. Ooh. If you agree, we've had a ruined summer. Comment below. A little perch, because everybody's away. And we've come down to what is the UK, this is England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, the UK's smallest harbour. There's a little ladder here. Oh. Dicey, isn't it? The UK smallest harbour, built in 1890 by the 15th Earl of Harbour, John, John Harbour. And it was carved out of, they used um, hydraulic water, water pressure to cut the, cut the stone, just to build a little harbour. A natural, it was obviously a natural harbour, wasn't it? And they've just cut it out. And this is a boat owned by the local crab fishermen. Don't know when it came in. When the boat came in. It's an old winch. It's not kind of gone pretty far, is it? This is the Tantalan Castle, built by the 5th Earl of Sussex, I don't know, maybe just making that up. Tide's coming in like, tide's coming in, we're going to get cut off. Because the water goes all the way around. But this is it, huh? the smallest harbour in the UK, the smallest working harbour, actually still used by obviously this boat. Mint, isn't it? Excellent. The moon's out over there. It's killed the, um, the stars. There's no stars tonight. Well, there might be, but we'll not, we'll not be uh, capturing them. Look at that sunset. It's lovely. It's glowing lovely. We're just at the top of here, over the top of there. Yeah, I like it here. Seacliff Harbour. Google it. If you didn't believe me. Chains are still using the still using the chains on.
guy from the... I mean, it's just a stunning place. You know, I always think, like, whenever Andy says, oh, let's go do it, let's go do something with the photo. Filming you? you? Oh no, don't cross the streams. Look at that backdrop there. We're pitched, we're pitched up there. <laughs> this is mint. Christ. Should get washed away. <laughs> it would have got you, look. <laughs> Boosh. I think we might have had it with the sunset. It's sort of gone. But it's not very red. We might get red sky, we're not going to see the sun. That's the castle, anyway. Nice, that. That old winch. That'd be that their old winch, you know. That's as good as it gets. Oh, 
thing so we've woke up we missed the sunrise man we missed it by about 10 minutes or something so overslept a bit what a place to wake up there's that rock castles there Chebs will out there's a deserted beach again. Oh, I slept all right. I didn't sleep on a uh, mat last night. They had no sleep mat. No you need. It was just as comfortable. Look at this. If you get vertigo, don't be coming here. Nice, well we're packing away. He's gotta put his drone up, I think, because the wind's just gone like. And then we're gonna um like head back. It's a two hour drive back home. That's the only problem. Two hours away. I think it was worth it. Yep. Unless anything unbelievable happens, we'll end it there. Boosh, get out and do a bit. You know it makes sense, man. You know it makes sense. You know, you know.